<laughs> we are back here in the United Sim Football Association game two of week number four. The games keep rolling. You know, as long as I got some life, the games are going to keep going. You already know how we do. The games are always lit. We had ourselves a fun defensive battle in the first game of week number four. If you missed it between Charlotte and Dallas, definitely a crazy, crazy ride for sure. But I recommend you watching it if you love defense. Definitely a fun ride there. But we got two teams here that are looking to get the job done in their respective conferences, both of them coming into this game with the one and two record. Only one of them could go two and two and help push them towards making their way back in the playoff race early in the regular season. But before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe. Do what you need to do to get on the field. Show some love to all of our various affiliates. We got the homies there in GSB. We got the Homies over there in goals. We got the homies over there in the ECFL. We got Paladim, our official sponsor, doing their thug fizzle as well for us. It's a fun ride here, and we're going to keep it moving. So before I get started, I'm going to hit this Brandon. Best of luck to both of these teams here today. I'll see you on the other side in Pittsburgh, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and get into it, folks. We're underway here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It looks like the Roughnecks will start us off on offense. McDonough's Magna taking that one to the 28-yard line. A real quick start to this ball game. Let's get into it. Once again, best of luck to Arizona and Pittsburgh. Has looked for the first pass and is going to be caught there by Anthony Stank. A gain of six is going to be second and four coming. Let's see what Pittsburgh can do. They're trying to get the job done. There's going to be a fake of the handoff here. Looking for a play left side and overthrows the cross. And man, had him wide open, but not to be. It's going to be third and four coming up. Pittsburgh will be in the gold and black uniforms that you see up top. Arizona will be in the light pink uniforms. I had a very vivid discussion with the person close to me said that their home uniforms aren't pink but that was almost an interception there by Arizona getting off of the field defensively is going to be fourth and four coming up great defense there from Arizona sending one this one left side going to be returned from the 15 yard line. Here comes the homie Potter taking that close to what I believe is the 28 yard line. It's going to be first and 10 coming. Arizona Money Mills going to hand this off to Sean Snow. He had his breakout game last week, well over 150 yards rushing, I believe. And he's looking to get the job done again here. It's going to be second and seven. Another handoff. Yes, it is trying to find the hole of snow and he's pushing forward for another first down gain. A great job there. And Arizona's starting to pick it up a little bit. Nice shot. Hey, 
First and 10 coming up here. Going to be passing in Money Mills. Going to be caught. Cuts up and gets a first down a little bit more. Moving past the 45. First completion of the day goes to Reginald Frome. A gain of 17 for number 47. And that's going to be first and 10. Next shot. As they move into Pittsburgh territory, we're going to be passing it again, looking left side, and there's this one right into the dirt. Not to be there, it's going to be second and 10 coming. And while I have a little bit of time, I might as well bring the player numbers out. There you go, much better. Are we passing it here is money over the middle and then complete again. Missing his mark. Gonna be third and ten coming. Pittsburgh trying to get off the field. They could do it right here. Definitely in a good position. Money Mills looking. Launch just one left side wide open and overthrows his man. Seeing a little bit of that mix last in the last game with Hank Falco missing Dotson. But he had his man dead to rights. Just could not put the right touch on the football. And that's going to set up a punt. Pittsburgh goes away unscathed. After that one, as we see if we get another great pin, it is going towards out of bounds, and it looks like it will be inside the 15. So we'll have another punt inside the 20. It's going to be first and 10 coming up here as we see what's happening in this Pittsburgh offense. I'm going to go ahead and bring their player numbers up for you. Quarterback will be Jim Carr, number four, in his second year. Halfback will be veteran Mike Hawk. In his fourth year, as we see the pass looking right side, it's going to be dropped. And that's a bot player there getting into the mix. He couldn't quite hang on. The wide receivers, they have three of them. That's McDonough's Magna, Corbin Crimson, and Anthony Stank. Tight end will be Bodacious. One of my favorite names in the league for sure. And then kicker slash punter is Anita Dickamy. Yes, that's exactly what I just said. It is what it is. Going to be passing this short left side. It's going to be caught. Bodacious keeps it moving. And he does get some yards there to make that third down a lot more manageable. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Pittsburgh could get the job done. Keep the drive alive. Going to be passing it here as Carr. They send a little pressure. Launch the left side. In some traffic and gets the bucket. And I think I need to hit that sonic ring real quick. That was the dot. Too easy. It's going to be first and 10 coming. Anthony Stink made that jump look nasty. Had to do something real quick. Hand off. There goes Mike Hawk. Going strong. And is that going to be a gain of four after that play? You don't want Mike Hawk to get too stiff when he runs towards you. Back to the six, and they'll try Mike Hawk again. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. But a gain of four on that play. I, I tried to hold it in. <laughs> it's 32 coming up. Another handoff to Mike pushing forward, getting the first down. Mike. Ah. Yes! Get it! First and 10 coming up here for Pittsburgh. Getting closer to midfield. A solid drive to start us off. And great blocking there by Bodacious you're seeing on the left side. 
But we'll see if Pittsburgh can keep the drive alive. Another pass coming, looking right side and throws it in the dirt. Not towards my cop though. It's gonna be second and 10. Going to be passing it here, looking right side. It's going to be caught. Turn it up field. Sheds off one man and push inside Arizona territory. That's going to move the sticks. McDonald's Magna making the play. Great right pass there by Carr as well. Shed off one man. And then number 23, I believe that's uh, Matiso finishing up the tackle. They're going to send a man in motion. And they are going to hand it off, but it looks like it's sniped. That's going to be the homie Dexter Hall with the play. Second and 12 coming. One person in the crowd said, I love that guy. I mean, I, I ain't mad at you. You love who you love. If you get that jersey, make sure that the player gets compensated. But it's going to be second and 12 coming up here. Gonna be passing it. Right side is gonna be caught by the bot player pushing forward inside the 40. Make it to the 37. It's gonna be third and six coming up. Trying to send the homie Mike in motion to the right side. Looking for a man. It's going to be caught there by Mike right at the sticks. Will he get it? They're going to say he did. That's first and 10 coming here for Pittsburgh. It's looking real nice here for the home team. And they left. They got caught in the zone as Arizona. Luckily enough for Pittsburgh, he has enough boost to get down the field. They're going to send a man in motion. They're going to hand it off. Number 26 pushing forward, trying to get past the 30. He does a gain of three on that play. He's going to be second and seven coming. <laughs> second and seven here. Pittsburgh definitely in field goal range at this point. Almost got a man off sides, not to be. Gonna be handing it off. Mike is looking for the crease and almost broke free from Dexter Hall, but I think he got tripped up at the last second. It's gonna be third and five coming. in the middle field wide open for the touchdown mr bold spacious i love it if you love it pittsburgh's gonna take the lead nice job and that is definitely a nice play i'll give it a sonic ring for that i'm not mad at you homie pittsburgh's gonna take the six point lead anita she's gonna try to fit that inside the crease that's pretty crazy that is not my cock though. That's going to be seven to nothing here in this ball game. Arizona's going to have a chance to respond, but got to give credit where credit is due. Pittsburgh, they came through with a nice drive. They finished it off nice. They caught Arizona slipping on that particular play. And we'll see what happens here on the next series. That's a look right there, number 92, Davis Sutherland there for Arizona. Hasn't quite found his breakout game, but he's definitely a great talent at the linebacker spot. I can't wait to see what he could do in the future. As we see this one underway again, sending this into the end zone, going to be returned out, taking this pass to 20, and push backwards right as he passes the 25. We'll mark him at the 27 here. It's going to be 
First and 10, Arizona. And we can talk about their offense while they're coming onto the field. If y'all don't have a problem with it, I don't. I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. Quarterback will be Money Mills in his second year. Pablo Sanchez, Sean Snow. That'll be the halfbacks here along with Storm Nixon third. Look at the face mask, though, there by Pittsburgh. Give him 15 more. Colt Wetzel there with the error. Wide receivers will be Belly Bird, Michael Potter, and Sean McGowan. Antonio Lewis, Reginald Frome, and Usul Musul Rusu will be the tight ends here. And the kicker slash punter will be Carolina Andrianic. Or Yanich. I believe it's Yanich. But hey, we're going to keep it moving. Passing the right side is open for Potter. He's going to get the first down. Tackled down by Jackson Brady. Is going to be first and 10 coming up here. Nice pass for 14. Gonna be passing this. Is gonna be caught. Turning it up. Reaching out for the first. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Arizona moving inside the 30. Now they're trying to strike back. That was a Sulu Masulurusu with the play. Now that is a tongue twister if I ever heard one. First and ten. That's the first quarter. Continuing to wind down, going to be a handoff here to Snow. Pushing forward, finding a crease. Going to get close to the 20, or gets inside the 25 there, I should say. Second and three coming up here. Going to be passing it, looking in middle field and caught. There goes that man inside the 10. And the bot player is getting into the mix now. That's Cooley. As we close out quarter number one, let's get into it. Still got plenty of time here in this ball game. Arizona trying to tie it up. And here's Money Mills looking for the touchdown. Looking right side and caught. Turning up and going to get dragged down. Rolls forward for another yard. I don't know how he did it. That's going to be Cooley again. It's going to be second and goal coming up. Right side and gonna be caught. Touchdown. And he was one of the benefactors there, getting some bot love here for Arizona, getting the job done. An extra point pending. We should have ourselves a tie ball game. The kick is up and good. A six play, nice of 69 yards on that particular drive. You love to see it. And we're back to zeros here, folks. Second quarter coming through. It just got started. We'll see if Pittsburgh can uh, take the lead right back. It should be a fi fun ride here as always. Make sure you like and subscribe. We got a lot of shorts coming. We got a lot of uh, highlight reels coming each and every week. There's a highlight reel of all the best plays here in the USFA. But you got to stay tuned for more content. You also got to join the league discord. And if you want to be part, it does not take very long to take uh, take the reins and actually be a part of the league. All you got to do is help out with the jobs or you could just make a player and watch him watch him play. He's going to be great regardless. It's just a matter of him being greater as you continue to upgrade him. You know what I'm saying? As we see the return here from McDonald's Magna to get past the 30, it's going to be first and 10 coming. Oh, 
Got to be a high snap and a fake of a handoff. Looking to launch this left side. Why not take it? It's going to be deflected, though. They tried Anthony Stank, no doubt. Was, it was Anthony Stank. But great, great coverage there on that one. It's going to be second and 10 coming up. Passing it again. Pass rush doesn't get home, but they do get the pass off and a spear as they pass the 40 down to the 45. It's going to be first and 10. Corby and Crimson getting into the mix for his first catch. Gonna be passing it here, wide open, and another catch. Gonna be the homie Mike Hawk. Getting the job done. And they're inside Arizona territory again. Twenty plays, fourteen of them have been passes here for Pittsburgh. They hand it off this time, and it looks like Arizona swarming this time. They're going to lose a couple on that play. Actually, no, never mind. They didn't. It's going to be second and ten. Going to be passing this right side on to come back in. It works. Going to get inside the 40. Makes that third down a lot easier to convert. Third and four coming up. Can they get the job done? That's the question. Not quite in field goal range. It'll be a pretty long one if they was to try it. They're looking for the conversion. Middle of the field ain't going to be caught in traffic, and it should be enough. Yes, it is. Mike Hawk is doing it again. Standing tall. All of these in your windows, man. You love to see it. You only get this type of commentary in the USFA. We're going to be handing it off. There goes Mike Hawk again, pushing forward. Trying to hit the crease. It's going to be second to six. Going to be short passing the steps back a little bit. Has a man and overthrows, I believe. Uh, the homie stank. The pressure got to him a little bit. Took one step back, and I think it took him off his base. But it's going to be third and six. As the second quarter continues to wind down, it's been a very, very interesting ball game here. Both teams scoring a touchdown. As of right now, the total that is the mark to beat is going to be two. But that is a drop there by the bot player again. And that's going to be fourth and six coming up. Gonna be kicking from the right hashes, the Nita Dickamy. And she is gonna try it. And it is gonna be to the right. Not to be there for Pittsburgh. Arizona's gonna have to get this ball right back. Money Mills looking for a repeat performance. Get back in that end zone. We've seen a lot of missed kicks so far in this uh, week so far. Going to be handing this one off and finding a little bit of a hole is Sean Snow. A gain of four on the play. And it's going to be a flag. It should be on Pittsburgh. And it looks like he's going to push forward for the first. 
It is offsides. They might as well decline it right at midfield. It's going to be first and 10 coming here for Arizona. You got to give credit to Sean Snow. He's been picking up his game this season. Cast it off from uh, Dallas. Maybe he's feeling some type of way that he got replaced. And he's making a lot of good moves here. Looking left side and caught. Turn it up. They're going to get a lot of room there for the touchdown. Sean McGowan, light him up, player. That's going to be an easy bucket. And the second on the day there for the homie Money Mills. Great job. Arizona's trying to fight back in this Western Conference. Kick is up and going to be good. And now Pittsburgh's going to have to fight a little bit here. Going to be an interesting setup here going forward. I don't know if they're able to get back into this game, but they do have the talent to make it happen. There's only one way to find out. Going to be a fun ride here for sure. And I believe if my math is right, Money Mills is one of the only quarterbacks that has yet to throw an interception. I believe after a game like this, he should be pushing towards the lead in touchdowns. I believe he's up there. But regardless of that, we got to see what Pittsburgh can do. But we could talk about this Arizona defense since we're here. Uh, defensive line will have three players. As we see Anthony Stink go in motion. They're going to fake the handoff. Looking for a man. Launches right side and overthrows Stink for the second time this game. But uh, defensive line will be William Thompson, Tony D'Alfonso, and Brett Eisenhower. Linebackers will be Dexter Hall, Tyler Rogowski, and David Sutherland. Cornerbacks will be Jason Matiso, Phil Sung, Lawrence Sands, and Mikey Jackson. Going to be another handoff here. There goes Mike with a lot of room, trying to push through two defenders, not to be. But a nice game there. It's going to be third and three. And then on the safety side of things, they have Doc Goodon and Randall Hawkins. And that'll be your Arizona team. I'll finish up. I'll finish up the homies in Pittsburgh in a little bit. But we'll see if they can pick up the first. They're going to hand it off and going to get the first is Mike. I told you, keep on coming up strong. That's Mike Hawk for you. First and 10 coming. Going to send. Corbin Crimson in motion this time around, and they're going to hand it off. Looking for a crease. Not going to find one. Number 97. I believe that's D'Alfonso with the play. Yes, I am right. It's going to be second and 12 coming. Going to be passing it here. Looking middle field and caught. Turn it up and another 15. Unfortunately, by the hand of Phil Sung, that's going to push Pittsburgh right in field goal range. I'm sure they're going to be looking to take advantage here. But overall, a great pass there by Carr. Four minutes. Arizona will get the football after halftime. So it will be imperative to at least try to tie the ball game up. They're going to send the tight end in motion. They're going to hand it off. Looking for a crease. And Mike is going to push forward inside the 25. A solid gain. Averaging a little less than three yards a carry. Expecting a little bit more. But 
as of right now it's working out Second and five coming. Going to be passing and looking short and going to be caught for the first down. And there goes Anthony Stank with the Stank leg. First and ten. Three minutes left in the second. Anthony Stank. Got to get that Stank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> first and ten. Final three minutes, quick pitch right side and caught. Going to be pushed forward and pushed backwards, getting a lot of contact there, but Corbin Crimson hangs on through it all. It's going to be second and five coming. And it's going to be a quick pitch. Yes, it is going to be caught. Turning around for it is Bodacious, taking it to the five-yard line. Again, three on the play. Big, big, big setup here as we hit the two-minute warning. Let's get into it. Going to be passing it, looking right side is going to be caught, pushing forward and gets pushed back before he gets the first. Calling the timeout is Arizona. Great defense. They almost had it too. And if they had one less player over on that side, that could have been the easy first. But regardless of that, it's fourth and one. Will Pittsburgh go for the touchdown here? They are deciding to keep their offense on the field. I don't blame them. See if you could tie it up. They're going to hand it off. Look at it. It gets stripped up. No. He had the open lane. And I talked about the homie Sutherland. He was right there. Tripped him up. That's going to be a big stop on fourth down. Pittsburgh comes out scoreless. He had all the room in the world. But one extra arm in his way. Tripped him up. You hate to see it. My cock was not that strong on that play. It's going to be passing it. Is he going to launch it? Yes, he will to the right side. And going to be almost throwing a pick there to Jackson Brady. Great defense there. It's going to be second and 10 coming. Second and 10 here. Gonna be passing it. The rush trying to get home. He's running a little bit on the run and throws it and caught. Turn it up for the first down and he's gonna get it past the 15. That was a little bit testy there. There was a defensive player right there. But you see this replay, watch. They look like number 54 Cole Wetzel just did not react to the play. And Arizona will take advantage. First and ten. Interesting. One minute left in the second. It's going to be a pass here, looking left side, and it's going to be caught again. It's going to be the man, Sean McGowan, trying to get chased down, but not going to get touched for the touchdown. <laughs> what? Do that dance, do that dance. What? Sean McGowan, Money Mills, a three touchdown, three passing touchdown, half two to McGowan. What a play. And Arizona's coming away with the kick is up, and it is going to be good. And they will go into the half, potentially with the two-score lead. Wow, what a game here for Arizona. What a game for Money Mills. Came through with the mix. They're going to have a real, real nice lead here. Don't think I brought up the Pittsburgh defense, but I can't do it right now. Did I? 
Yeah, I'll do it right here. Sorry about that, Pittsburgh. But um, you got Jerry Philbin at defensive tackle along with Tank Jones, Cassandra Raquena, and Thax Brightmore. That'll be your defensive lineman there. Linebackers will be Colt Wetzel, Gus Pack, Heavy D, and Austin Wheeler as we see this return to around the 24-yard line. Cornerbacks will be Bryce Walker and Jackson Brady along with C.J. Bird. And then the safeties will be Kane Elliott, Mitchell Lott, and Angel, Angel Flugel, a.k.a. Angel Food Cake. That's why I like to call him. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be first and 10 coming up, though, for Pittsburgh. They do have a chance to score. They just got to get the ball down the field looking for a man. They got some crosser. It's going to be caught in traffic. A short game there. Would they call the timeout or would they just take it to the half? They will call the timeout. Took them a little bit, wasted some time, but we'll see if they could do something here. Got stank and crimson there on the left side. Want to take off the run and get sacked. Easy buckets there for Arizona. They're turning it up on the road. Jim Carr could not handle that inside pressure. He tried to turn away, but as soon as he tried to make the move, he was already on the ground. Going to be passing it here. Looking middle field and caught. Turn it up. Juke move. Gets to the 35. There's 24 seconds left. Once again, wasting some time. I don't know if they'll try to get the first down. Maybe try a Hail Mary type situation. You never know. No, they'll call their final time out here. Looking to pass it here. Launching the steep middle field. Gonna be picked off. It stays upright, but he's going to be taken down at the 45 yard line, number 33. And he has five more seconds left, so now it could be flipped the other way. Gonna be handing it off. They're just gonna to try to see if they can get as much as they can. They called the last time out barely. But what a defensive play there from Arizona. They're turning it up for sure. I want to see who got that last interception real quick before the play clicks on. But they are going to hand it off to Sanchez. Got a lot of room. Sheds off one man and almost broke free. They decide not to go for the Hail Mary. Maybe they're trying to make sure the homie doesn't throw a pick in his uh, season. You know what I'm saying? That was by design. And that was number 33. That is a bot player. I don't see any users here. So we're going to keep it moving as we get a... Returned there from Potter, but they got to go backwards 10. Thanks to Pablo Sanchez. We've seen him on the last carry. It's going to be first and 10 coming up here for Arizona. They're, on, they're in the driver's seat to get the victory. They just got to hang on. Going to be passing it here. A lot of crossers. Got his man. Turn it up. And gets tripped up before he could get the big game is Antonio Lewis. We haven't seen a lot from him this season. But he has the speed to get the job done. Nice job. Nice cut. If number 39 did not trip him up, I think that would have been another score. But we're going to make it first and 10 coming up for Arizona. Playing a spectacular football game is Mills. And going to rocket this one to the right side in a bucket. Oh my goodness, show them how you do it, player. Sean McGowan does it again for another die. Oh my goodness. Jackson Brady, he could not keep up. 
Arizona. Money Mills said, I got the juice. They're going to go ahead with the jet sweep. Looking for the lean and cannot find one. Going to be second and goal coming. They have zero catch, but luckily enough for them, I don't think it really checks out in regards to that play. It's so short. <laughs> second and goal coming. And they're going to try it again to the homie cutting up and gets tripped up. Keeping that completion percentage high there for money. Third and goal coming. Well in field goal range, but it's third and goal. They want some more points via the touchdown. Probably passing it here. Looking right side and caught. And there goes that man, Sean Snow, for the touchdown. Arizona said they need to work on that point differential. It's working out in their favor, and that's going to make it a three-score game. Kick is going to be up here. It is going to be good. 28 to 7 is your score. Not turning out the way Pittsburgh wanted to. They feel like they came into this game. This is definitely a victory they could get, but offensively, it hasn't really worked out in their favor. Granted, there's still time for them to get back in this ball game, but they cannot afford to give Arizona the ball back, especially how this game's been going. Very, very interesting here for sure. Well, we're going to see this kickoff coming right now. Pittsburgh coming with the football. Going to be taking this one to the left side up the middle. Gets close to the 30, right at the 30. It's going to be first and 10 coming up here. Looking for the pass this car. Middle of the field and caught in that. Well, I thought it was caught. That is actually a drop there by the bot tight end. I told you those uh, bot players are very unreliable. Second and 10 coming up. Oh, this, they said that they said that dreaded line that QB's trash. So got to expect a big play. Well, not that big. That's one of the few times where I heard that clip and nothing happened. Third and 10 coming. Gonna be passing it here, looking for a man to throw it to. Takes off to run, throws on the run, and overthrows everybody. Tried to hit Mike going down the sideline, but once again, perfect defense here from Arizona is going to be fourth and 10 coming up here. Sending this one away to around the 20 yard line. Let's see what the home can do on the return. Trying to shut off of a man that gets pushed backwards. Gets to the 27. It's going to be first and 10 coming. He's stumbling. You see him stumbling. <laughs> Michael Potter, he couldn't keep his legs up under him. Got them sea legs. First and 10. Here for this red hot Arizona team. Going to pass it to the Money Mills. Why not? It's wide open up the middle. It's going to be Reginald Frome with another catch. Over 300 passing yards in this one is going to be first and 10 coming. And crazily enough, 
he still has another quarter and more than a half to throw the football. So he's definitely on pace here for a 400 yard game. He's going to try to do it again. No, they're going to hand it off. Trying to shed off a man and does just that is Sean Snow. Another solid game from him. It's going to be first and one. Sorry, second and one coming. Going to be handed off again, pushing forward, trying to get the first, but stop shy of the mark. Third and inches coming. Arizona trying to keep the drive alive. And they got to go backwards, unfortunate. The right guard move is going to be third and five coming up now. Gonna be passing it here, right side and caught again. And there will be enough for the first down for sure. He turned around a little bit after the catch, but the board progress still had him past the markers. First and 10, Arizona. Ready, 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 ready. 30 plays total, 20 of them passes here for Arizona. And they'll make their 11th run here as the homie Sean Snow pushes forward 5.6 yards a carry on 10 on 10 tries. Gonna be a handoff here. Look at the man Pablo go. Gonna be third and two coming up. Looking forward to conversion to keep the drive alive. Is Arizona keep it on the ground? Yes, they do. Pushing forward and through a man for the first. That is strong running here from Snow. Very inspiring. That's going to keep the drive alive again for Arizona. Mitchell Lott was right there, but just could not get the push that he wanted. Going to be passing in middle field and going to be dropping. There's the bot player. Tried to make the play, not to be. It's going to be second and 10 coming. All four touchdowns here was thrown by Money Mills. Gonna be passing it here, looking for a man launching middle field and caught again. There goes McGowan, a spin move inside the 10 yard line. And he's getting a little freaky on him with these moves here. Number 18, he says he wants to be the new leader in the wide receiver game. You see him right there. Four catches, 215 yards. Just ridiculous. Better watch out for Sean McGowan. Going to be passing it again, looking on the run, and going to be caught for the touchdown. Number five, Money Mills. Let me know how you feel. And in the chat, play a, a great game overall for Arizona. But I said a few weeks ago, he lost a lot of pieces. And he's making it work as best he can, even though Carolina missed that extra point. But you got to give Money Mills his props. Are we seeing the next face of the USFA 
right in front of us, number two. If this doesn't inspire him to be the next Rebecca Montaigne, I don't know what does. <laughs> Just spectacular all the way around. And that doesn't say that Pittsburgh is bad at defense or anything like that. Because they have a lot of great pieces here. This is not some slouch team that we've seen last season. That was getting beat around a little bit. Pittsburgh's definitely made stellar improvements on defense. Ben. The homie's just making this look too easy as we see this return. Sheds off one man to get close to the 30. Marking him at the 28-yard line. And Pittsburgh's back on the field. Interesting to see for sure. I'm gonna send a man in motion. There's gonna be ran by Mike. Turn it up, a juke move, and pushes forward past the 40. That's definitely gonna help Pittsburgh out. It's gonna be first and 10 coming up here. What do you want, Angie? Random ass pictures. <laughs> Better be handing this one off though. It's gonna be to the left side and it's gonna be a first down a little bit more. And if he kept his feet inside the green, I think he'd still be running. But regardless of that, that's gonna move the sticks for Pittsburgh. Great carry. We needed that. Just ran out of real estate just a little bit. Gonna be handing this one off, and Mike's gonna shed off one man, pushing forward to get past the line of scrimmage. Could have been a lot worse. A gain of two. Another handoff here, and Mike is gonna get stuck. A flag on top of it. You don't want to see that. It's going to be second and 18 now. That's going to take him even further away from field goal range at the very least. Sending this one up. Looking left side and gonna be sniped as he was trying to get the catch. Great coverage there for number 99. It's gonna be third and 18. And at this point, field goal ain't gonna cut it, neither is punting the football. It's gonna be third and 18 coming. Gonna be passing it here. Looking left side and gonna be almost picked off. On the other side, nice job there by Arizona once again on defense. It's going to be fourth and 18. We'll probably see a punt here. Yes, we will. No fix here. Sending this one away as Anita. And that is going to be a side to five down at the two. That is a bucket there for sure. Arizona's going to have the long field ahead of them, even though they already have a four score advantage. I don't think they're too worried, but I'm sure we're going to be seeing a little bit more usage of the homie Sean Snow. As they set up in the shotgun, unless they want to just go for the bucket up top. They are going to run it, though. Going to take off. It gets dragged down. He will get some yards, but great defense there to at least hold him to four. Gonna pass it here is the homie money launching his left side. Gonna roll forward for a little bit more yards of snow. Third and four coming up here. It's 
I think after this game, we should have a new leader in the wide receiver um, yards group and touchdowns. Going to be passing it here. And going to get sacked. Is that a safety? No, it's at the one yard line. That's going to be Jerry Philbin. I was waiting for his first sack. It came out at a great time. It's fourth and 11. And now Arizona's got to punt from their own end zone. Short drop back here. Going to be returned past midfield. So it looks like Pittsburgh will have some really good field position to end the third quarter. Gonna be passing his left side and overthrow stack again for the fourth time, I believe. Gotta make sure you hit on those plays. And like I've said before, the best of the best hit those type of plays on a consistent basis. And they're going to pass it here. Looking for a lane. Not going to find one, though. Great defense again for number 99. As we close out quarter number three, let's go ahead and go to quarter number four, baby. Third and 10. Pittsburgh looking for the conversion, but almost throws the pick. And that had pick six potential. We have yet to see a pick six or fumble six so far this season. But it's going to be fourth and 10. Does Pittsburgh go for it here? Yes, they will. I mean, I don't blame them. Fourth quarter coming along. They got to get something going here. Left side and throws the pick. There it is. It's going to look. Take it past the 40. That's going to be Tyler Rogowski again. He had one last week. He's getting another one today. And they're going to keep it on the ground. Why not? Finding a little bit of a crease to get close to midfield. 69 yards. Nice there for Snow. It's going to be second and four. Definitely a oof moment for that pass. <gasps> Never want to see that. Should I make that the interception sound? Like when someone throws a pick? Who knows? Going to be carrying up and look at the crease. A juke move. Sheds off one man and gets to the 30-yard line. I don't know where Sean Snow came from with these type of moves, but he's looking real nice here in that pink in Arizona. Why not keep it on the ground? Another carry and another big hole makes Jerry Philbin look crazy as he moves inside the 25, inching closer to another 100 yard ball game. And off again, trying to get the first, and I think he got it. I'm pretty sure he's close. 100 yards on the day there for Snow. We'll keep the clock ticking. It's going to be first and 10. Sending a man in motion. And they're going to hand it off this time as Pablo pushing inside the 15. It's going to be second and five coming up here. And will be another handoff. No, it will not. Looking for a man. Money Mills is going the other way. Takes off to run, but going to get set. I think he tried to find the crease to take it himself, but 
that defensive lineman got off at the last second. And honestly, he should have just kept it to the outside. He tried to get a little freaky on him. But regardless of that, it's going to be third and seven coming. Passing it here, looking for a man. Millfield, they're going to be caught number six. And give them six more points for the touchdown. Wow. Arizona's looking pretty nice right now. Kick is up and going to be good. 41 to 7 is your score. What can you say about Money Mills that hasn't already been said? That's just ridiculous. There was questions about Arizona, what they did via trade. Maybe they're looking to put the team on Money Mills back and so far in this game and in the last one it worked. They're not undefeated by any stretch of the imagination. They did lose their first two games. But it's going to be interesting to see the rest of the teams in the Western Conference after this week. We got Arizona getting the victory here. Dallas got the victory. We got two teams in the West between uh, Tacoma and Huntington Beach. They're going to play on Sunday, so make sure you watch out for that on Switch. And I have to see who Anchorage is playing. But got to give credit where credit is due, man. Arizona, they fought back. From the adversity, they traded away their best halfback, their best defensive end. And it looks like they are getting some progress here with these players. Going to be passing it here is Jim Carr looking and going to be overthrowing Anthony Stank once again coming across the middle. He's going to be second and 10 coming. Be passing it here, Millfield, and incomplete again. Third and ten coming up. This game may be a little bit too far out of reach to try to go for it here within your own thirty. If they don't convert, I'd probably advise a punt if they cannot get the first. Going to be passing it here, looking Millfield and caught. Reaching out, trying to get the first and drag down short is bodacious. Fourth and three coming up. Jim Carr. I believe he's closing in on a 50% clip here in this ball game. Money Mills, his level of play speaks for himself. Speaks for itself. As we see the punt here from Anita sending it off. Going to be down at the 19 yard line and it's going to be downed there at the 27. Going to be first and 10 coming up here. And they're going to hand it off again, finding another hole to get some more yards. It's going to be second and five coming up here. And got to expect a lot more ground game movement here for here on out for Arizona. Hand off again. Ain't gonna get stuffed. Great defense there from what I believe is Laquina. Yes, it is. It's gonna be third and four coming up. Third and four, looking for the conversion money. Gonna get caught. Reaction that is gonna be a drop. 
and a little bit of a damp run was been a great game there for him it's going to be fourth and four coming up not really a point of going for it for arizona then in this one deep to the 20 yard line here comes the return and going to get stopped before he could get to the 25. Mike trying his best there. It's going to be first and 10 coming. Pittsburgh trying to at least get to double digits in this game. Going to be passing it again, looking right side and caught. Turning up is McDonald's Magna past the 40. He's going to be first and 10 coming up here. Um, Pittsburgh, they will be going to one and three on the season, joining the homies in Charlotte in regards to the record there in the Eastern Conference. Passing his right side and going to be caught again. It's going to be Mike Cox getting the job done there. First and 10 coming up here as they move into Arizona territory. Mikey Jackson tried to take that one away. Passing it again, looking for a man middle field and caught. There goes Anthony Stank getting into the mix. Second and two coming. Second and two here, passing it again. Launching the middle of the field and no one home there. Young car approaching 45 passes in this one. And I'd like to think that if they don't get the third, they'd go for it here. This is probably their best chance to get some points. This will definitely help Arizona's point differential. No doubt. Going to be passing it again. Middle field and almost throws it straight to number 52. He's going to be fourth and two now. And actually, they are going to bring the punt team. And it's going to send it to the left side. Don't think that's going, actually it is going to be going out inside the 10, down at the five. Great job, is going to be first and 10 coming up. But we got Arizona back on the field, the final three and a half minutes are going to hand it off and get slowed down in the carry. Sean Snow. It's going to be second and eight here. And going to be a handoff again, trying to find the hole. Gets about four on the play on his 20th carry. Well over five yards to carry once again definitely helping them out didn't really need the run game because the pass game was immaculate but maybe the run game was helping to pass and the pass was helping to run there's a lot of good factors here that arizona displayed now it's just a matter if they can continue this progress and keep the games rolling you know what i'm saying going to be passing this launching this left side why not a wide open man and overthrows mcgowan and I know Money Mills was hot after that one. <laughs> I know he's hot. He had to have that one. It's just straight up missed it. But another punt is coming for sure. Sending this one away. That was number seven. 
for him, but could not quite get it done. Great coverage there by the punt team. It's going to be first and 10. Call me passing it. Looking left side and going to be caught in traffic. Nice catch there by Magna. Getting inside Arizona territory. Not expecting them to call any timeouts for the rest of the game. Not quite a first down, but it definitely makes it close. 90 seconds left in this ball game. Here comes Carr. The blitz almost gets home, and it does affect the pass. Another incomplete play. Third and inches coming. Passing it again and caught. Turning up. Getting inside the 20. Down to the 15. That's going to be first down there for the Roughnecks. Trying to get something going. Definitely a beautiful pass there. You kind of wish you seen that a little bit earlier here for Pittsburgh, but here we are. Going to be passing it. Let's side and almost throws the pick again. Who Rogowski? Who else? I believe he was in the top three last season in regards to tackles. I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to come back to you. Going to be passing over the middle and incomplete again. It does stop the clock, so I guess it does have its, uh, its uses there, but you kind of wish you had those completions, especially in the beginning of the game, too. You probably could have uh, kept Arizona away from the football. But we got third and ten here. Going to be passing it again short. And going to be caught by Stank. Reaching up for that one. That was a great catch. 50 passes, 26 of them completed. Anthony Stank, 5 for 49 on the game. He skyped for that one. Got good on and Pil Sung there with the tackle. First and goal. 36 seconds. Looking for the player. Left side is going to be caught. Sheds off one man, but not the second. 27 seconds. Will they keep their offense on the field or will they try to stop it? See if they could get into the end zone. Thirteen seconds, no timeouts called. Passing it again, looking in zone and caught. There goes the touchdown for Pittsburgh. So they will at least get into double digits, cut into that point differential. Definitely a really good drive there. I think the homie uh, Jim Carr needed that one personally. So it's going to be kick up. Kick going to be good. And we'll hear that sound one more time here in Pittsburgh before we turn it over to the next game. There you go. Had to do one more thing real quick. Shout out to the homies in the chat again. Got to check one more thing. I'm sorry about taking the sound off. But uh, yes, the next game will be St. Louis at Anchorage. That's going to be a fun ride there for sure. Taking that one to the 25 and no more time on the clock. We could go ahead and wrap this one up. 
here in Pittsburgh. Arizona came through in the clutch. A beautiful game, as you can see at the top left of your screen. 369 total yards, six touchdowns. They're for Money Mills. And that helped them get a victory. 41 to 14 is your score. We'll check into these stats real quick. 493 to 330 in regards to total offense in favor of Arizona. First downs even at 17 apiece. Total yards 564 to 496. So both teams were able to move the ball down the field, but only one team was able to put them up for some points. Uh, pretty even overall in regards to the possession time. Pittsburgh had just a little bit more, but that was mostly due to the uh, last part of the game there. Now, looking at the passing, 20 for 27 there for Money Mills. Great job all around. Averaging 13 yards of completion. Just ridiculous. And I believe he has one of the longer passes there in the game with 83. Should have had a longer one than that, but he overthrew him just a little bit. Um, Jim Carr, 53% on the day. Definitely want to improve that. Two touchdowns, two interceptions for him. As always, next week, looking at the run game for both of these teams. Sean Snow with another banger, 20 for 111. No touchdowns, but definitely effective on the ground. Mike, he did his thing as well. Mike Hawk, 15 for 50. Great job from him. Sanchez adding into the mix as well. No quarterback carries. Looking at the Pittsburgh side of things on offense, Bodacious led the way with nine for 79, two TDs. He did have a drop, uh, but a solid game nonetheless from him. Anthony Stink, five for 49. Corbin Crimson, five for 73. Mike Hawk, four for 58. I mean, five for 48. McDonald's Magna, two for 27. That's all the users there. I think I hit the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Got to check out the homies in Arizona. Looks like uh, the bot player led the way in catches. I don't know how he did it, but Sean McGowan is still the player right here. Four catches, 215 yards, two touchdowns. He did have a drop, but I'm sure he ain't mad at it. That was a great game from him. Reginald Frome adding in a touchdown. Michael Potter had a touchdown. Sean Snow had a touchdown. So that's five different receivers getting into the end zone. That's just love right there for sure. Antonio Lewis and Masul Masu Rusu at the tight end positions. They chipped in as well. Great job from them. Looking at defense, let's talk about Arizona real quick. Phil Sung and Doc Goodon were the tackle leaders out of the secondary. That's crazy. Jason Matias uh, be getting eight on the game. Dexter Hall was seven. Lawrence Sands was seven as well. Mikey Jackson was six. Tyler Rogowski with four. Masul Masu Rusu, the tight end, getting three. Randall Hawkins gets two. Sutherland gets two. Uh, Brett Eisenhower gets one. D'Alfonso and William Thompson also getting one. But tackles for loss. D'Alfonso, Sung, and Hall. They're the three guys there. Only one sack, and that was from Brett Eisenhower. Great job from him. Two interceptions. It was a bot player that did it, and Tyler Rogowski with another one. Doing very well. Looks like he's in the fast lane to try to get that linebacker of the year award again. Uh, a lot of pass deflections here led by the bot player with three. Lawrence Sands, Jackson, Rogowski, and Matisse all getting one apiece. No fumbles here. No safeties or anything like that. And we'll check out Pittsburgh real quick. The leading tackler will be Austin Wheeler. Great job. He had nine on the day. Jackson Brady had eight. Angel Flugel had seven. Bryce Walker had five. Mitchell Lott had four. Philbin had three. Colt Wetzel had three. Cassandra McQuinn had two. CJ Bird, Kane Elliott, and Kingston Ali each had two. Gus Pack chipping in with one. Tackles for loss. None of them made a tackle for loss. That's crazy. Sack wise, there's only one user player that got one. Shout out to the number two draft pick, Jerry Philbin. Looking a little bit further past the flexions, Brady and Lott each had one. And that's it right there for them. Kicking wise. Let's check it out real quick. It was kind of sloppy on both sides. Anita, she had one chance for a field goal, the only chance for a field goal, and she missed it. And she made all of her extra points, but Carolina on the just other side missed one of her, her extra points. I believe this is probably the first time two women has actually played kicker against each other. I might have to research that, but I think we might have might be onto something there. Um, kickoffs, there were nine of them, no touchbacks for them. Looking a little bit further, it looks like the longest punt is going to be 52 yards there by Carolina. 
Looks like the average is a little bit over 40 four between the two of them. And it looks like three of them between the two of them were inside the 20. Kick to turn wise, looks like they both average 22 or more. Michael Potter and McDonald's Magna. And on the other side, Mike Hawk and uh, Michael Potter, they average between uh, four and eight. So let's say six between the two of them. And that is going to be the end of this ball game, folks. We got another game tonight. Make sure you show some love. St. Louis and Anchorage will be the two teams in this ball game. And we're going to keep it moving as we always do. It's your boy Stacks. And I'm out here. Ah.